Hello everybody. So today we will be discussing about how to basically install MongoDB inside your MacBook. Many people today use MacBook and there's a common question we receive like how to do the necessary setup. So it is very simple. First of all, you have to go back to your terminal. Okay. And inside this terminal, you have to just type the command name called brew space update number one. In case if you do not have a brew, I would like to request you that you first of all try to install the brew first. Okay, so make sure that you install the brew first. And in case if you do not have the success or the privilege available to you, so you first use sudo command before to make it possible. Okay, number one. So you have to just say brew update. Well, next step once the brew update is happening, next step will be you have to use the same command called sudo. In case if you do not have a privilege, we can use sudo space brew space install space mongo db so brew install mongo db that is the first command you need to type it once you say brew install mongo db the mongo db will get installed in your system it will take some time depends on your internet speed once it is downloaded then in the next step what you have to do you have to basically go back and create a new folder where because it's, since it is a nosql database so it has to have some folder in which you have to provide the location where the data will get stored. So after downloading, you have to create a DB directory. This is where the Mongo files or the Mongo data files will actually stay. You can create this directory in the default location by running this call mkdir okay, space hyphen p and say slash data slash db are we clear and also you have to make sure that you have the proper right permission because in macbook this is one of the very very common challenge okay you do not have a permission so make sure that the data db have a correct right permission so in order to do this you have to use this command called sudo space okay ch1 and after that you have to say hyphen r and then you have to use id space hyphen un okay and then you have to use slash data slash db so like this you will be in position to give the permission so it will ask you the password post that you have to give the password whatever the password of your macbook it is and that's it and once it is ready your MongoDB is all set. And to start this MongoD or MongoDB, you have to start the MongoD as a server. So if I just have to start, so you have to start with this MongoD. Are we clear now? So MongoD, then after I have to use hyphen hyphen db path. After that, you have to give this tinder sign slash data slash db. You hit enter. And you can see now your Mongo database is now starting up and is now waiting for your Mongo client to get connected to. So you have to open the other terminal parallelly. I'm saying new tab, and here we are just typing Mongo. And there we go. You are connected successfully. Just type show dbs and you are done so friends it is a very simplified way of how the mongodb can be installed into your macbook very very simplified steps i told you there are other options are also available but this seems to be more better i would recommend to use this step to make your mongodb installed in your environment Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.